Megan McCain, Michael Ian Black, welcome yes. to Book Beast. Thank America, you, you sexy bitch. Thank you so much. What was the, the idea behind the book? Why do the book? What we see uh, on, on cable news and uh, read about in, in the media there are a lot of people on polar, office, on polar ends screaming at each other and nobody's just talking to each other and more than that nobody's listening it seems like. I think with Megan and I it was an opportunity to hit the road, hang out in a stinky RV and as much as we were speaking about what we believed for me, I got so much more out of listening to what she believed and from the other people than I ever got from just spouting my own essentially correct beliefs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Megan? We both agree that there's too much money in Washington, too many lobbyists, yep. and that there's too few people, too many people basically have to be a millionaire or billionaire to run for office these days. And in America, young people listen to comedians for their political news, for better or for worse. And for, I mean, no disrespect, uh, you know, disrespect <laughs> for better or for worse. And I thought it would be an amazing social experiment to see if I could go in an RV for a month with a, essentially a stranger and who had completely different, different political beliefs, lives his life a completely different way, which was good for me because I was feeling particularly disheartened at the time that Michael and I came onto this project. And in a really weird way, he kind of gave me hope again. You famously described the Democratic Party, or we're going to make it famous, as being uh, like Walter Mondale's uh, underwear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true, though. I mean, the Democratic Party, and, and as much as I sort of, I want to love the Democratic Party, I want to call myself a Democrat, I have a very hard time doing it because I don't even, I don't know what they stand for anymore. I don't know who they are. They feel like a bunch of disparate interests, and it, 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 I, there's no sort of democratic agenda that I can get behind. The Republican Party, as much as I feel like they're barking up many, many wrong trees, at least I sort of know where they stand, and I, I, I understand what they want, which is, which is uh, a total concentration of power and money in the hands of a very, very small number of people. <laughs> I get that. <laughs> Megan, what did you learn from him? We definitely came to fruition, my opinion on legalizing marijuana came to fruition on this trip. Somehow I feel like that's low-hanging fruit for you guys, really? That was... That's like, well, well, you we know what's funny? To... But neither of us are pot smokers. We're not, and now we're both like up there with Willie Nelson and Snoop Dogg, like Mike Lane Black <laughs> and Megan McCain, like we're going to be the ones, and I was like, I just, this is purely economical, and then it's people are like, thing. right, economical, and like, no, really. <laughs> I've <laughs> now moved right onto bath salts, and I have, <laughs> it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but, so legalizing marijuana, I like it's that, one of I them. like that you've won over the stoners with the economic we argument. We have, and they're, uh, they're already a very loyal group. Very like, loyal. Uh, now they're all, I was like, I should have been out for this a while ago, because now they're like, don't attack Megan, she's one of us. <laughs> <laughs> like, a new community, thank you, supporters. Well, well, it's a great book, and it does that. It's a good time and a good conversation. So thanks for writing it. Thanks America, you, you sexy bitch.